uh, House Republicans have decided and they elected to or voted rather to ditch Liz Cheney. Republicans voted to remove Liz Cheney from her position in the House Republican caucus. The reason for her ouster was simply this. She refused to submit to the will of Donald Trump as leader of the Republican Party. Now, to be sure. And I, I will give this caveat anytime we talk about her. Liz Cheney is still a warmongering, vote suppressing, anti science Republican who stands against progress for humanity and in favor of tax breaks for the rich. Yet somehow, this poor excuse for a human being, Liz Cheney, still manages to be the very best the Republican Party has to offer. I want us to take a quick listen in to what she had to say just after the vote took place yesterday. And um, she really made it clear where she stands on the issue. Let's take a listen in. Uh, the nation needs it. The nation needs a strong Republican Party. Uh, the nation needs a party that, uh, that is based upon fundamental principles of conservatism. And I am committed and dedicated to ensuring uh, that that's how this party goes forward. And I plan to lead the fight to do that. Congressman, how concerned are you that former President Trump might end up back in the Oval Office? And what are you prepared to do to prevent that? Uh, I uh, will do uh, everything I can to ensure uh, that uh, the former president never again gets anywhere near the Oval Office. We have seen the danger uh, that he continues to provoke with his language. Uh, we have seen his lack of commitment and dedication to the Constitution. Uh, and I think it's very important that we make sure whomever we elect is somebody who will be faithful to the Constitution. Now, as we discussed uh, several times on the show, Cheney, along with a small minority of Republicans, hope to be able to break the party away from Donald Trump's control. Now, mind you, she isn't fighting to break America free from the grip of conservatives, but she's simply trying to find a way to have the Republican Party as it is, but without Donald Trump. That notwithstanding, even their attempt to back away from Donald Trump does not appear to be going well. Here's a clip of Republican Senator Lindsey Graham stating on Fox News that regardless of what Liz Cheney thinks, the future of the Republican Party is with Donald Trump. It's impossible for this party to move forward without President Trump being its leader because the people who are conservative have chosen him as their leader. And you know why they chose him? Because he delivered. He was the most consequential president for national security since Ronald Reagan. He secured the border. He cut our taxes. He brought a new attitude of being an American. And the people have chosen him, not, not the pundits. Yeah. Now, a handful of Republicans, including Cheney, disagree with uh, Lindsey Graham. Uh, here's a small portion of the floor speech that Liz Cheney gave two days ago, and this was given in the backdrop of the entire Republican caucus, save one, walking out on her because she dared to speak against Donald Trump. Listen in. Today, we face a threat America has never seen before. A former president who provoked a violent attack on this Capitol in an effort to steal the election has resumed his aggressive effort to convince Americans that the election was stolen from him. He risks inciting further violence. Millions of Americans have been misled by the former president. They have heard only his words, but not the truth, as he continues to undermine our democratic process, sowing seeds of doubt about whether democracy really works at all. I am a So James, um one of the things that I think is important about this is, is while this system is broken and needs to be reformed, fixed or replaced, it can get a lot worse. And the Republican Party underneath the leadership of Donald Trump is just a good example of how bad this can get, because one thing we know for sure, Donald Trump takes all of the worst things about the Republican Party. Donald Trump is everything that uh, Liz uh, Cheney is. Everything that Liz Cheney is that we hate and we disagree with, Donald Trump is that. But he adds on top of that this idea that he alone is worthy to control this country. Like, he really believes that he deserves to be an emperor, a king. And that dictator. a dictator 
and that this country should bow before him. 